Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to fix an engine that is backfiring. This is going to be a video guide on the first things to check when your engine does backfire. The first thing we're going to cover is what causes a backfire. When your engine backfires, it can do so in one of two ways. First, and the most common way, is when the engine is running, a small explosion of unburnt fuel is ignited inside of the intake manifold, causing a loud bang, which is what you hear in a backfire. This explosion can bend the throttle actuator plate, push the intake gaskets outward, creating a vacuum leak, and even blow apart plastic intake manifolds. When intake manifolds were made of aluminum, they could better withstand this kind of problem. This occurrence can happen once or a few times when the engine is under load. Or it can happen continuously, signaling a mechanical failure, which we'll go over in the following repair. The second kind of problem will occur from the rear of the vehicle's tailpipe, which is a rich fuel mixture problem that can happen when the fuel delivery parts fail, such as an injector, fuel pressure regulator, or intermittent ignition system failures. A backfire condition can also occur in race cars using a turbocharger, which is normal because they push the fuel through the engine, which is ignited in the exhaust system. We will cover the primary occurrence of the engine under load first. This problem must be corrected and cannot be neglected because serious engine damage can occur. On the small side of things, a simple vacuum hose might be pushed off, which is an easy fix. Our step one is if you have a check engine light, anytime you have an engine that is backfiring, the first thing to do is check the check engine light. If no warning lights are on the dash, continue on with this guide. If the check engine light or service engine soon light is on, go ahead and scan the computer for these trouble codes. I have a link in the description for a, a more detailed video about that. This will help locate the system that is having a problem and needs a repair. Step 2. Checking Fuel System Pressure An intake backfire explosion can be caused by the fuel-air mixture being too lean when the engine is demanding power. Every internal combustion engine runs on a mixture of 14 to 1, which is 14 parts air to 1 part fuel. Proper fuel pressure is needed to atomize the fuel correctly when it leaves the fuel injector to complete the burn process. The most common cause for this problem is a weak fuel pump which cannot supply the volume of fuel needed to the injector to produce the power and the proper spray pattern. I have a link in the description to a video that more accurately goes over this problem. Um, the fuel system pressure needs to be tested in order to see if the fuel delivery system is the problem and what's causing your back pressure. If your fuel system pressure checks out, continue on in this guide. Step number three, service or replace the mass airflow sensor. Your vehicle's computer system monitors the air that enters the engine via the mass airflow sensor, or MAF. When this sensor malfunctions due to a condition called coking, the hot wire inside the sensor becomes contaminated and will alter the reader reading to the computer, which will create a lean mixture condition that may or may not trigger the check engine light. The lean condition is because the computer thinks there's less air entering the engine than there actually is. Less air means less fuel. The first step is to remove the mass airflow sensor and clean it using carburetor cleaner. We have had better luck by replacing the sensor because once this condition happens, the hot wire can become unresponsive, in which case the sensor needs to be replaced rather than cleaned. Um, but if you do have a the time to clean it and check and see if this fixes your problem. It is a good step, but we do recommend uh, just replacing the sensor entirely. If this didn't fix your problem, continue on in our video guide. Step number four is to check the air intake boot or tube. The air intake boot or tube transfers air from the mass airflow sensor into the throttle actuator and then into the engine. If there is a problem with these parts, such as a tear or a rip, it will allow unmetered air into the engine, which the computer will see via the oxygen sensor, which in turn will deliver less fuel, creating a lean condition. Check this part for damage by removing it for inspection and replace it if needed. I Again, I have a link in the description to a more detailed video on that subject. Uh, go ahead and go check that out. If that didn't fix your problem, go ahead and continue in this guide. Step number five, check for vacuum leaks. The engine's intake system depends on completely being sealed and free from leaks. If a main vacuum hose, such as 
the power brake booster feed line has broken or falling off, it will cause a lean backfire due to additional air allowed into the intake engine manifold. This problem will be accompanied by a high or low engine idle and a harder to push brake pedal than normal. Using a smoke machine or carburetor cleaner, you can check for a vacuum leak and repair it to fix the problem. Again, I have a link in the description to a more detailed video on this subject. If your problem is still not resolved, continue on. The next thing we're going to cover is repetitive backfire. A repetitive backfire is generated when the engine is simply running at idle or at cruising speed and can be in line with the engine RPM. A rhythmic popping sound which is not as prominent as lean under power backfires. This next set of problems will give you an idea of what the causes could be generating this condition. Step number six, worn or shorted spark plugs. The engine's ignition system is triggered by an electric driver which signals the ignition coil when to fire. By design, the resistance it takes to fire the coil via the spark plugs is figured into the system. When the resistance becomes excessive due to severely warm spark plugs or a bad ignition coil, it can cause these drivers to malfunction, at which point they can crossfire into an opposing cylinder either under power or at idle. This condition may or may not be detected by the computer, so the check engine warning light may not come on. Spark plugs should be changed at regular interval intervals. Platinum plugs should be about 60,000 miles, which may correct this problem. Step number seven, check the camshaft. A camshaft is used to open the intake and exhaust valves of the combustion chamber to allow intake air in and the spent exhaust gases out. If the exhaust valve lobe becomes worn and loses its lift, the fire from the exhaust gases are still left in the cylinder, which is released into the intake manifold once the intake valve opens. To check for this condition, first you must remove the valve cover. After the valve covers have been removed and with the ignition disabled, also known as the coils being off, crank the engine over and observe the intake and exhaust valve operation opening and closing. Also, if the intake or exhaust valves are not closing completely due to a broken valve spring, it will allow the combustion gases to enter the intake manifold, much like a flat camshaft lobe, which we talked about earlier. Use a flashlight and carefully check the valve spring windings. These springs can break at either the top, middle, or bottom of the spring, which can sometimes be difficult to see. A bent push rod can also cause the valve not to work properly by restricting the movement of the valve. While the valve cover is still removed, look at each of the push rods to see if there is an obvious bend to them. This can also be done by detecting poor rocker arm movement while the engine is being cranked over. Now we're going to talk about exhaust tailpipe backfire. An exhaust tailpipe backfire is caused by an excessive amount of unburnt fuel remaining in the exhaust system or fresh air being allowed to enter the system which ignites a small amount of unburnt fuel. Step 1 is going to be trying to detect an upstream exhaust leak. If fresh air is allowed to leak into the exhaust system, it will ignite the unburnt fuel inside the system creating a popping noise. It is difficult to think of because most people think of the exhaust system to be under constant pressure, but this is not true. The system is fed with a series of pressure and vacuum pulses which are created by the exhaust valve opening while the combustion charge is being expelled into the system and the valve closing. This is where the vacuum event is created by the pulse velocity of the fresh air let into the system. This is why you can get a lean mixture trouble code when there is an exhaust system leak. Inspect the system and repair any exhaust leaks present. This detection is done by looking for flat black soot, which is evidence of a leak. Step two in this section is to check the gulp valve. On engines made from about 2001 and older, they are sometimes equipped with an air injection system that is fed into the exhaust system when the engine is under load. This is to burn unspent fuel which helps with the emission systems work better. This system is fit with an air gulp valve that acts like a one-way check valve to allow air into the system when the engine is under load. This gold valve is fitted to the exhaust manifold via a large pipe or an individual port tubing configuration with a rubber tube that connects to an air pump. When the valve goes bad, air is released into the system at all times, even during deceleration, which is then creating a backfire or a popping due to the fresh air igniting the unspent fuel. Most engines have one or two of these valves, 
for each exhaust manifold. To check these valves, you must remove them and try to blow through them each way. One direction is all that should be allowed. If air is blown in both direction, the valve is bad and should be replaced. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com, subscribe, and like this video.